Do you want to see how I mostly got this look? Keep on watching. Get started, I'm going to take a little brow freeze from Anastasia and a little disposable spoolie. And I'm going to get my brow hairs together. Next, I'm going to define with the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 4. I'm going to grab the darker one and I'm going to use that right on the tail of my brow. Perfect. Now we're going to clean them up with a little concealer. I'm going to take the Sensual Skin Enhancer from Kevin Aquan and shape my brows. Okay, now that our brows are on, we're going to skip the eyes, come back to them, and do the skin first today. So I'm going to take a little bit of primer. This is the new mattifying primer from MAC. I got a little sample. Okay, next up we're going to color correct. I'm going to grab the same concealer that I used under my brow to conceal everywhere there's hair. Anywhere there's darkness where I want to cancel that out. Now you go ahead and make sure you blend that on out now. No harsh lines. Make it melt to the skin. Next we're going with an even complexion. So I'm going to take my Fashion Fair Stick Foundation in the shade Brown Sugar Bay. Don't forget to blend. Next up, my Danessa Myricks Beauty Balm Contour in the shade number two. This is a good time for a nose contour. Next, so we're going to highlight. I'm going to take my Taunty Doll Concealer from Lancome. Love this stuff. I'm going to place it right under my eyes. Now let's blend that bad boy out. Okay, next mission, really contoured with the Morphe Shade Stick in number 20. Only a little bit. She's pigmented. So after you super contour, you super highlight. I'm, I'm going to take my Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Hands in the shade 11 and 12 and add these to the highest planes where I really want my highlight to pop. Now we blend. Now my favorite part, cream blush. I'm going to take the Elf Putty Blush and the two orange shades. That I mix together. I'm gonna place this right up here. Alright, now that we've got everything where we want it to be, it's time to powder. So I'm going to take some one size powder and a little bit of RCMA. And now, some more powder. I'm going to use that to set the contours of my face. I'm going to take a little bit of the one size loose powder and the one size packed powder. And that's how I'm going to get this beloved, beloved skin. Okay, now it's time to contour. I'm going to use my Fenty Sunstalker Bronzer and Thick Fit. Push that depth, girl. I'm going to take the foundation powder right down the sides of my nose to pretend like it's my contour. For blush, I'm going to take Rouge Profonde from Chanel. And this is a little bit more of a ready classic blush. Put it down here. 
Now the last thing I'm gonna do before I hop onto eyes is get some more loose powder. And I'm gonna lightly, lightly, lightly set it under my eyes. I'm gonna use this to brighten what's under here already and then catch any fallout from my eyeshadow. Okay, to get started on the eyes, I'm going to take the Nessa Myricks Color Fix in the shade Nude Number 8. And we are packing that in the outer corner. We're doing a little smoky eye today. So I'm gonna use this pretty much to set the stage for everything. I'll take a little bit underneath as well. For some more dimension, I'm gonna add nude number 12. Look on this wing shape here. This I'm gonna keep closer to the lash line. Working on extending that outer V up. Next, I'm going to take nude number six and cut my crease. Start getting smoky. First, we want to take our transition shade and start setting our dark colors in the crease. Start working on that nose contour. Oh, look at us. Alright, let's get a deeper brown. Stamp, stamp, stamp it in. Add into the crease as well. Then we're going to go back in with our transition shade and buff that. Out. Just going to keep buffing and adding and buffing and adding until we get the shape that we want. Looking fab. Let's start adding that black to the crease. I'm going to get it right in the outer corner. Connect it a little bit with the liner. Hopefully you don't recognize the change too much, but in an effort to complete this look, we didn't switch cameras, child, because my other one died. So, we got our shadow popping. Now I'm going to do under eyeliner. Next, I'm going to take the transition shade. And I'm just going to sweep that under everything to just fully, fully smoke it out. And we are going to highlight that inner corner. No, I don't think you understand. 